shame on those, if any of you are here, that have the audacity to chastise this jury. You're not American. If I didn't insult you, give me a few more minutes, I'll try. <laughs> the bottom line is, that was the most courageous group of people that I can imagine. They didn't volunteer, by the way, you understand? They were subpoenaed. These are the ones that couldn't get out. We spent two weeks one airing 250 some people to make them come over here to be set in the hotel for six weeks, us working six days and a couple times seven days a week on this trial, having the courage in spite of all of the publicity condemning my little client, knowing that the world was calling for her blood like vigilante lynch mobs. And they had the courage to look the world in the face and to reverse the media's conviction. How dare anybody criticize them? I have to salute this jury and, and I hope to one day have the opportunity to speak with them uh, both individually and hopefully collectively and, and learn from them and thank them for being courageous and standing up for our Constitution and standing up for our freedom and those people who don't uh, those people who don't realize the significance of what they and of what they did and the bravery and, and the sacrifices that they made no one has the no one has the in any way the place to say a, a one single word about this jury we have the greatest constitution in the world and if the media and other members of the public do not respect it, it will become meaningless.